Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of y plus square root of minus y, this is equal to 4. So what are the values of y given that y is not equal to 0? Now let's prevent the solution from here. Let's prevent the solution from here. So we have square root of y plus square root of minus y, this is equal to four so the first step to do here let's square both sides from here so that now this part here this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of two which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus two a b now this is algebraic identity applying this identity here then this implies we have square root of y raised to the power of 2, then plus square root of minus y, raised to the power of 2, then plus 2, multiplying by square root of y, multiplying by square root of minus y, this is equal to 4 squared, which is equal to 16. The next step is, let's eliminate this square root signs a, so that here we have y, then we have square root of minus y squared, therefore we have plus times minus y, so this is minus y, then plus 2. We have here square root of y times square root of minus y, close the parentheses here, this is equal to 16. So y minus y, this simplifies, so that now we have 2 times square root of y times square root of minus y, this is in the form of square root of a times square root of b, and this can essentially be expressed as square root of a times b. So in other words, from here, we have 2 multiplied by, now here we have square root of y times minus y. This is equal to 16 from here. So here we have 2 multiplied by square root of now here we have minus y squared this is equal to 16 so let's divide both signs by 2 from here so that now we have minus that is square root of minus y squared this is equal to 8 okay so the next step here is to square both signs so that you can eliminate this square root sign and this implies that the square root sign here is eliminated so that we have minus y squared. This is equal to 8 squared, which is equal to 64. Okay, so this implies that from here, we divide both signs by minus so that now we have y squared. This is equal to minus 64. To solve for y here, we introduce a square root on both sides so that here we have square root of y squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 64. Now, we have here the square root of y squared. This implies we can eliminate the square root sign so that y is equal to plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 64, basically as 64 times minus 1. And therefore, we have that y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64, this is 8, and then square root of minus 1, this is i. So here, this implies we have two possible values of y. We have y1 is equal to 8i, and we have that y2 is equal to minus 8i. So these are the two solutions here for y1 and y2. The next step from here is to verify that y1 and y2 satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that y1, which is 8i, and y2, which is minus 8i, satisfies the equation. Now if you recall from here, we have the square root of y plus square root of minus y, this is, this is equal to 4. Substituting y1 
then we have square root of 8i then plus square root of minus 8i this is equal to 4. The first step from here is to square both signs so that now this again is in the form of a plus b squared which you can express as a squared plus b squared then plus 2ab. Now applying this identity then we have square root of 8i squared then plus here we have square root of minus 8i squared then we have plus 2 multiplied by square root of 8i times square root of minus 8i. This is equal to 4 squared which is equal to 16. The next step is to eliminate the square root sign here so that now the first part here is 8i then plus if we eliminate the square root sign on the second part here plus times minus 8i this is minus 8i then plus we have the square root of 8i times square root of minus 8i again this is in the form of square root of a times square root of b which you can express as square root of a times b now here we have two into the parentheses this is the square root of 8 times we have now here 8 times 8 times minus 1 then times i times i this is i squared cross the parentheses this is equal to 16 we have that i squared this is the same thing as minus 1 so let's substitute this minus 1 the first part here 8i this is 8i plus times minus 8i minus 8i okay then plus 2 into the parentheses here we have 8 times 8 this is 64 then we have minus times minus 1 here then times i squared which is minus 1 cross the parentheses this is equal to 16 the next step is that 8i minus 8i simplifies so that now we have 2 into the parentheses we have square root of 64 then minus 1 times minus 1 this is the same thing as 1 and this should give us a value of 16 so that now we have 2 times square root of 64 this is 8 and this should give us a value of 16 from here so 8 times 2 this is equal to 16 and this is equal to 16 so that now the left add side is equal to the right add side so let's check x that is y2 let's check y2 which is actually minus 8i let's check if this satisfies the equation again we have the square root of y plus the square root of minus y this is equal to 4 substituting minus 8i here we have square root of minus 8i plus now here we have square root of minus multiplied by minus 8i okay then this is equal to 4 now let's again from here we have square root of minus 8i plus square root of minus times minus 8i this is 8i this is equal to 4 so let's square both signs from here let's square both signs so that now here we have square root of minus 8i squared then plus square root of 8i squared then plus 2 into the parentheses here we have square root of minus 8i times square root of 8i cross the parentheses this is equal to 4 squared which is equal to 16. now the next step is to eliminate the square root sign here that is we simplify here we have minus 8i then we eliminate the second square root sign here so plus 8i then plus 2 multiplied by we have the square root of minus 8i times square root of 8i cross the parentheses this should give us a value of 16 so 
minus 8i plus 8i, this simplifies so that we have 2 into the parentheses square root of minus 8i times square root of 8i, this should give us a value of 16. So from here, we have square root of minus 8i times square root of 8i, this is in the form of square root of a times square root of b, which we can express as square root of a times b. So applying this identity, then we have 2 into the parentheses, this is the square root of a, that is minus, we can say 8 times 8, this is 8 times 8, then times minus 1, again times i squared, cross the parentheses, this should give us a value of 16. We have that i squared, this is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute i squared with minus 1, so that now we have 2 into the parentheses, this is the square root of 8 times 8, which is 64, then times minus 1, then times i squared, which is minus 1, cross the parentheses, this should give us a value of 16. So here we have 2 into the parentheses, square root of 64, this is actually equal to 8, then multiplying by minus 1 times minus 1, this is actually equal to 1, and square root of 1, this is 1, and this should give us a value of 16. So we have here 8 times 2, this is equal to 16, and this is equal to 16. This implies that the left add side, this is equal to the right add side. And this implies that y1 and y2 satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. If you have alternative methods to solve this, kindly don't hesitate to showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.